what's really going on welcome back to another video my name is Eddie and you're watching stay true to the flavor today we're making fish tacos delicious fish tacos perfect for the summer we're gonna go ahead and get right into it this is what I'm going to need for my fish tacos for my slaw coleslaw I'm going to need some green cabbage some purple cabbage I am going to uh, throw some carrot into it as well and some cilantro. I got some purple onion that I'm going to pickle with uh, limes. I got a couple of radishes I'm cut thin. You'll see how it all comes together. Now I got my fish over here thawing out. Uh, I believe there's some swahili fillets. Got some paprika, some seasoning salt, and some cornstarch oh, and some black pepper right in there somewhere. That's where I black pepper going have black pepper. And that is it. That is all I'm gonna season my fish with. Okay, I'm gonna start off by peeling my onion. Go ahead and slice it in half. And I'm gonna do thin slices. Go ahead and get both of them done, sliced up, all right? Onions are all sliced up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, squeeze some uh, lemon into it or lime juice, whatever you have. You could even use vinegar if you like to pickle your onions. We gotta start this first so they'll have enough time to pickle. If not, we'll be eating raw onion. So we're gonna go ahead and cover the whole thing with lime or lemon juice. Okay, so I went ahead and put uh, the lemon juice into the onions. I'm going to go ahead and just put the lid on it and put it in the refrigerator and let it start pickling. Okay, now I'm going to start, start my coleslaw. I'm going to need uh, some purple cabbage. More green cabbage than purple. I'm just going to take a little slice like that. I'm gonna take the top leaf off. And I'm turning it, I'm gonna do it, cut it in half because I don't want big pieces. Again, I like small pieces. It's called a confetti uh, slaw. So they gotta be small pieces. So I'm just gonna keep on turning it. Go ahead and do the green, the carrot, and the cilantro, and get it all done together for you as fast as I can. What it looks like with the purple and the green coleslaw, it went a uh, good ratio to purple to green. I washed my cilantro and I washed my carrot. Now it's time for the uh, carrot. This is for again texture, color. I try to incorporate as much of vegetables as I can into my food.
get that a mix. Now, all this is missing is some salt, some lemon, and some lemon zest. I'm gonna throw some lemon zest on there as well. And we'll be done with the coleslaw. Just wash my line nice and clean. Now, I'm going to test it. I don't want to get on just the green, not the white, because the white could be bitter. Oh, this is the best coleslaw you've ever had. Like I said, these are my uh, famous fish tacos that uh, everybody loves, but nobody could duplicate or imitate. Get that a mix, let's throw some salt in there. It's done. Forgot to put on my apron that my kids sent me. Stay true to the flavor. All right, got a little small dish right here. Got some radishes. This is what I call my fire stick radishes that are going to go on top of my tacos. One thin slices. Once you got them done, little slices like this, just slice, thin slices. See that? Fire sticks, matches. Chop them all up, put them in the bowl with some cold water so they'll stay nice and crisp until I'm ready to use them. Okay, so I'm done with the radishes. Put them with cold water so they'll stay crisp. Cover them and put them in the refrigerator. Wait for the fish to be ready. All right, so we've got the coleslaw ready. Got that onion pickling, got my radishes cut into fire sticks. Time to work with the fish now. Now this is kind of a big piece. I'm just gonna cut this in half. And to this, I'm gonna just go ahead and put like this. Smaller, thinner pieces. Able to fry up for me. Doesn't matter to you. These little small pieces. You want them thin so they'll crisp up. Now I went ahead and washed and patted dry with some paper towels as much of the moisture I could out of the fish because uh, if it has any moisture on it it will not get crispy. Okay so I'm gonna go ahead and finish all this fish up and proceed with the next step. There it is, all the fillets are cut. I had like six, seven big fillets. Slice them all, one like this, nice and thin, so I could fry them up nice and crispy. I'm gonna let them dry just a little bit in front of the fan. Try to remove some of that moisture. So I want it crispy, remember? All right, now we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, once it's dried up a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and season it up with my seasoning uh, salt, pepper, paprika, and then coat it with some cornstarch. I love using cornstarch. It gives you that extra crispiness that you need. You can use regular flour. You can use a wet batter. Uh, you can use whatever you like. Again, stay true to yourself or to the flavor. Whatever flavor you like.
All right, we got to season it up, some seasoning salt. Okay, so you gotta season your fish. I don't know where you get your fish from, but where I get my fish, it does not come seasoned. So uh, let's uh, season it up. Both sides, we're gonna do some paprika. If you're watching my previous videos, you know I love my paprika. And that cayenne. Some pepper. See if we just turn some of these around. Give them so we can season both sides. Well, you know what I do is just do this. Nice and seasoned. Go ahead and cover them with cornstarch. Get my pan ready with some oil. Get ready to start frying this up nice and crispy. Yeah, nice and coated. It's gonna be delicious. All right, that's my fish, all covered in cornstarch, ready for the fryer. Let's start frying. Okay, we're here. We're at the stove. The light was low in the corn, but. And my fish is covering corn starch. Got some pan with some oil on it. Let's see if it's ready to take. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. So we cut these thin. They'll be ready in no time. Look at that. Let's get them all done. All right, well. Here is my fish all finished. Nice and crispy. That is sitting on the rack. Paper towels on the back and the underneath to catch the excess oil that may be dripping off. But if you punch them all up, they'll get soft and soggy. That's why I got them on this rack. Now we're ready to start eating. Oh, all right, getting my tortilla ready. Here I got my nice crispy fish ready to go. My, what is it, uh, slaw, confetti slaw. It's really like confetti. My pickled purple onions, here I even the lemon juice turn color. And some radishes, let's put a taco together and eat. Let's get to it. All right, this is how we gonna do it. Got my tortilla right here, got it ready. I'm gonna start off by putting a couple of nice pieces of fish. I'm going to add my confetti slaw. Oh yeah, baby. Looking good, looking good. I'm going to add some of my thinly cut pickled onions. And I do some of my fire stick radishes. Last but not least, the G1 sauce is a spicy mayo, it's a mayonnaise, adobo sauce, lemon, salt, pepper, cilantro, and garlic. I'll make a video one of these days on how to make it, how, how I make it. Just a little bit more. And there you have it. My delicious fish taco. Alright, I'm not even gonna sit 
down for this one. It's got to have it right now. See, let's go. Look at this. Oh, beautiful. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm. Yeah, she's going to go. You have to try to make it yourself. You want me to stop with the conditions. Mm. You can wait to turn this into this. I'll see you guys later. Hey. Nobody watching? There you have it, my fish tacos. My take on fish tacos, I put them up against anybody's fish tacos, especially with that G1 sauce. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and for give me that thumbs up. Till next time. Nice cold beer will go good with this. Quarantine body. Is it a camera? Ask 10 pounds or five is it? Because I get the cameras on me. <laughs>